I've just killed Chuck. I, I mean, I think. I mean, it's just, it's just laying out there and it's not moving, and I, am, I don't think he's breathing. I mean, so here I was just up on the roof with Marisa, and we were laughing and chatting and having a great time. And then I told her that she reminds me of Sandra Bullock and that I loved Hope Floats. Who knew those would be the magic words? Next thing I know, clothes are off and we are losing your shingle like there is no tomorrow. And then there is touching and kissing and biting, and then someone says beating on me. I mean, just like pounding on me and growling. <laughs> growling. So I look up and there is Chuck, and I'm like, what's the problem, mate? And he says, the problem is, mate, that you are fucking my girlfriend. So I look at Marisa, and I'm like, are you someone's girlfriend? She says, no. Then he comes out, the Chuck just wishes she is his girlfriend, but she's actually disguising or something, and he's got these feelings of guilt about wanting her. And he starts crying. Now that we're in the mood. Marisa puts her clothes back on and she goes back into the party right through the window and I'm left with Chuck. Crying, whining, blubbering Chuck. And, and he's all about how he's a total fuck up and maybe he should throw himself off the roof. And for a split second I'm thinking, yes, do it, throw yourself. Huh. But, but I don't say that. I mean, I say, come on, mate. You find the girl, you just, just maybe not your cousin, huh? And then I give him a pat on the back, I mean, my friend just slap on the back. And he looked heavy, I mean, we need to go flying. We need to go flying up the fucking roof.